Yeah, look, I think a lot of problems with British racing. I think they've definitely brought it on themselves. Uh, we have the best racing here in Ireland because we take each other on every day. You know, you don't see that in England. Uh, you know, the boys ducking and diving each other the whole thing. I don't know what Gordon's talking about. There's absolutely no ducking and diving going on in British racing whatsoever. How's Constitution Hill doing, Nicky? Well, Nico said he was absolutely electric, so we're over the moon. Uh, he's a special horse, old boy. Uh, so, uh, you know, we'll get Cheltenham out of the way and we'll put him away for next season. Hello and welcome to Luck on Sunday with me, Nick Luck, the host of Luck on Sunday. With me, Nick Luck. Would you like a pastry? Well, you can't have one. Would you like me to stop being a perfect broadcaster and make a mistake? Well, that won't happen either. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to California or Dubai or somewhere nicer than wherever you are. So enjoy this music. Okay, Ruby, um, what race might Gaelic Warrior run in at the festival? Look, Lydia, he's got plenty of options. Uh, Willie Mullins will leave it until the last possible minute to make a decision. And at this point, you know as much as I do, so... Well, you work in the yard. So is it not fair to say that you would have a better idea of the plans? I don't know, Lydia. Like, I'm not sure if it's up to me to say what's fair to say and what's not fair to say. I mean, that's, that's for Willie Mullins to decide, so... Ruby, do you think the sun will rise in the morning? Look, do I think the sun will rise tomorrow? I don't know the answer to that, Lydia. Like, we'll have to just wake up in the morning, look up at the sky and see if Willie Mullins has declared the sun to rise. Are you excited for Cheltenham, Joseph? Well, as you can see, I'm absolutely bursting at the seams with the excitement for Cheltenham. And it's a great way to kill the time before the biggest festival in March, Oh Maidan, so... Did you hear about Huey for 800 quid? I did. <laughs> you want to buy a horse? Uh, no. What about a cow? Ah, uh, listen, Rishi, obviously, it's a great time of the year now. Only a few weeks until the flat season, Lydia, when all these twig hoppers can go back living under a rock for the summer. And listen, I have a lovely two-year-old coming through now, Nick, and, and I know I've said it before, but this, I think, might be. Oh, Hayden, don't say it. Don't say it. Don't, don't say it, Hayden. Don't! Yeah, he's the best horse I've ever trained. <laughs> I can't believe I'm feckin' doing this, but here goes. It's Michael O'Leary. Oh, Michael. Uh, how are you? Good! Uh, Willie, um, look, uh, we have a couple of good horses coming through and... Uh, I thought you were... Winding things down. We have a couple of good horses coming through and I thought maybe... Possibly, you know, there could be an opportunity... Go on, Michael. You can, you can say it. I suppose I was just wondering if you'd... You'd feckin' train a few, you know? <laughs> <clears throat> Hello? Well, that's a really kind offer of you, Michael. I'll, um, I'll have to go away and think about that and get back to you. Okay? Thanks. That cheeky little... <laughs> they always come back. 